Rare earths are essential materials used in a range of high technology products, including motor magnets and liquid crystal panel phosphors. The Fukuoka Research Commercialization Center for Recycling Systems began work toward a commercial system to secure rare earth supplies in September 2011, jointly with Japan Recycling Light Technology and System, Nippon Yttrium Company Limited, and Professor Hirajima of the Kyushu University Faculty of Engineering. The project was advanced as a collaborative effort between industry and academia. Japan Recycling Light Technology and System began collecting and recycling fluorescent tubes from 2011, recovering glass, metals, mercury and phosphors from some 8 million tubes a year, as well as producing recycled fluorescent tubes. Only about 30% of used fluorescent tubes are currently recycled, however, with the remaining 70% being disposed of as waste. About three years ago, I think, the Fukuoka Research Center for Recycling Systems called and asked if we'd work with them on recycling rare earths. At the time, rare earths were not that expensive and I had my doubts that the project could be viable. Still, I thought it could boost the value of our business while contributing to securing a stable supply of rare earths for Japan, so I agreed to the idea. In addition to controlling environmental pollution by mercury, the project also helps secure a stable supply of rare earth materials. But I doubt many people know that fluorescent tube phosphors use rare earth. We are helping local government and business understand the importance of recycling fluorescent tubes so that we can collect and recycle as many tubes as possible and contribute even more to securing rare earth supplies. The phosphors painted on the inside of fluorescent tubes contain five types of rare earth. Japan Recycling Light Technology and System removes the mercury from the collected fluorescent tubes, after which Nippon Yttrium Company Limited recovers the phosphors for extraction, refining and resale. If all of the waste fluorescent tubes from Kyushu for a single year were recovered, it would yield an estimated 57 tons of rare earth. This rare earth recycling project, the first of its kind in Japan, is attracting considerable attention from government and industry today.